All right, so this is going to be somewhat of a close look at the iFixit Manta Precision Bit Set. All right, so I got this on Amazon, so I guess technically an Amazon item review. Um, and the price of this is $69.99 plus tax. So after tax in California, where I live, it was $76.55, right? I probably should have got it during Amazon Prime Day. I think it was cheaper. I have a smaller set. I think it was the, I think it's the iFixit, um, not the Minnow, the larger one, the Manta, I think. Um, so I have that set and that one, the bits are actually pretty good. They hold up really well. So I bought, um, uh, this larger set to keep in my car. So it has this little thing so you can kind of hang it if you want. Um, and then it's held in place with two of these, uh, tape things. So I'm just going to get this in here and see if I can peel this up without, uh, tearing the box, but probably the box is going to end up getting torn, um, uh, because they do put like a light paper material here. Okay, so let's go ahead and peel this off. Yep, as you can see, it's just tearing that. Okay, so that kind of thing I don't really like because then you can't really save the outer box, or you can, but then it's like not nice. You can see it's all torn there. And then they put a thing on the bottom as well. So same thing, we're just gonna get this out. Maybe I should just cut it with a knife or something. Um, but let's see, I'm just gonna peel it off and yeah, it's gonna have the torn paper there. Okay, so we'll peel that off, end up with the torn paper, and there we go. Then once you get those two out, you can slide it out just like that. And here you can see the um, outer boxing. You can see here our widest assortment of bits to prepare you for any project. Works for drones, uh, drones, cameras, phone, tablet, toys, consoles, smart home, uh, facilities, maintenance, bikes, home appliances, automotive, and laptop and desktops. There's 112 bits. 44 millim uh, 4 millimeter driver, sorry, and a quarter inch driver. So you can use regular, like larger bits, or you can use the smaller four millimeter bits. Okay, and here you can see what kind of bits come with it. It tells you there's Phillips, triple zero, double zero, zero, one, two, and three. There's flathead, one, 1 1.5, two, 2.5, three, 3.5, four, five, six, seven, and eight millimeters, right? There's a Torx, T2, T3, T4, and T5. Torque security bit, um, so they don't double up them. So if you happen to break the security bits, you won't have the regular ones on hand. So keep that in mind. You would use the security ones as the regular Torx bits. Um, so there's a t uh, Torx. The security ones are TR. So TR6, TR7, 8, 9, 10, 15, 20, 25, 27, 30, 35, and 40. Let me actually mute my other phone real quick so it doesn't keep beeping at me. Okay, give me a second here. Okay. Um, and then there's a pentalobe two, uh, P2, P5, and P6 for opening up um, MacBooks and stuff. Some other devices do use them sometimes, but it's pretty rare. So, yeah. And then there's JAS, which is the Japanese uh, standard for basically the cross type screws. Usually I end up using those instead of the Phillips ones. So JIS triple zero, double zero, zero, and one. You got the hex uh, bits, 0 0.7, 0 0.9, 1.3, and 1.5. And then you got hex security. Again, they don't double them up. So um, if the regular ones don't uh, have your size, you'll use the security ones. And they have two, 2.5, three, 3.5, four, five, six, seven, and eight millimeters. And then they have the hex security, which um, the SAE, uh, standard, uh, 1 8 inch, 9 64, 5 30 seconds, 3 16, 7 30 seconds, and 1 quarter inch. All right. Then they have the tri point or tri wing screwdriver bits Y triple zero, Y double zero, Y zero, and Y one. And then, oh, I guess tri point is different. So they have tri point and then they have tri wing. Uh, the tri wing they have 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then they have a nut driver, um, 2.5, 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5, and 5.5 millimeters. Then they have the square, 0, 1, 2, and 3. Posi drive, <clears throat> they have PZ0, PZ1, PZ2, and PZ3. They got a torque set. All right, so it's like an interesting design. I don't think I've seen that before. But they have size 6, 8, and 10. Then they have a clutch set. I don't know, I've never seen that before either. Why is it not focusing? There we go. Um, one, two, and three, spanner, uh, four, six, eight, 
10 and 12. Then they have a triangle, 2, 2.2, 2.6, and 3 millimeter. They have a spline, M5, M6, M8. They got an oval bit. They have a Schrader valve uh, bit. They have a standoff bit for iPhone. Um, okay, then they have a, a hook drive. They got a SIM eject bit. All right. They also have a magnetic pickup bit. They have a quarter uh, inch to four millimeter adapter. So if you want, you can switch to using that um, on the quarter on the larger handle. Right. Then they have a quarter inch to half a uh, quarter inch socket uh, for yeah. Anyways, then they got a quarter inch driver to three eighth inch socket and a quarter inch a socket to quarter inch uh, driver socket. Right. There's a four millimeter magnetized aluminum bit driver and a quarter inch magnetized aluminum bit driver and then the so that's the two different screwdriver handles and then the lid with the sorting tray and they have guide solutions tools and parts online okay then they have the warning they say the paper sleeves are recyclable and then um, the warning says it, it can expose you to nickel which is known to the state of california to cause cancer i didn't know nickel can cause cancer oh man okay anyways <laughs> Uh, there you go. Then they have the little barcode there. I fix it on both sides. Nothing in the middle. You got this extra sleeve. So this sleeve also slides off. Okay. Again, I didn't like how they designed it. So you end up tearing this um, because then you have to just throw this away. But I guess most people don't keep this outer part. All right. Then you slide this off. Jeez, it's so difficult to get this thing out. So I'm pushing with my thumb here and holding on the bottom here to kind of slide this out then once you get that you can grab an edge here and then pull this thing out all right so i guess you would toss that um it looks like it came with this little guide there's nothing else inside there okay they have this i fix it welcome to the i fix it revolution and they'll have all this other stuff here i don't know if you want you can pause and read that i don't think there's really anything important in here it's basically saying you can repair stuff yourself. You don't need to be a genius. All right. And there you go. Nothing should be made that can't be fixed. Oh, so this is like the uh, right to repair movement. So they have this, some information there for right to repair. Okay. To help growing repair shops and other stuff. All right. Got a bunch of stickers here. Okay. All right, and it started with a broken iBook. Okay, you can kind of pause and, I don't know, hopefully you can read that. <laughs> so they got all these stickers, Fix the World, a bunch of little circle with X's on it, things like that. Okay, set that on there. And they got guides, parts, and tools, and a little barcode thing there. What else? More stuff, doesn't end with guides. Okay. All right. This trusty new sidekick. Here we go. All right. What else? Welcome to the community. Here you go. Maybe I should get a sponsor with them. I don't know how to get a sponsor with them. <laughs> Here you go. Okay. So there's that. Here's the box here. I feel like they should put something to make it easier to kind of grab this open. But I guess you just do that and hold the top and you can kind of pull it off. Okay. So, but if your hands are slippery, it's probably going to be tough to get this cover off. So I feel like they should have like something that you can kind of grab in here. Um, I have fingernails so I can kind of get in there. Then they use this little tray to kind of make it so you can put screws in this grid. Um, I kind of feel like they should make smaller grid pattern here so you can put like tinier screws all in order and kind of keep them in order better but I guess this is more for putting groups of screws um, but I don't really use that for that kind of use I use a magnetic tray that I built here you can see they have this wow this is actually a really big driver handle this is like this will actually give you a lot of torque this is really nice so this is much bigger than I was expecting and then they have this tiny one here which I think is the same as the Manta one that I had. 
Yeah, it's about the same. Or not the Manta one, the... Is it the Manta that I have before? No, it's not Manta. This is the Manta. I forget the names. There's so many, and they all start with, like, M. There's, like, Minnow, something else, and then the one after the Minnow, the larger size. Okay, so that those handles are exactly the same. And then they have this little thing. I don't know why they actually have this. Like, is this going to get moldy or something if you don't... I don't, I don't know why they have this. Anyways, toss that aside. Okay. And here you can see, maybe it will, it prevents them from rust. Should I leave it in there? <laughs> Anyways, you can see what all the actual drivers look like. And you can see in the foam, they put like little pictures there. So you can kind of see where they go if you get them mixed up. Okay. I'm not really going to show how they work because everybody knows how a screwdriver works. You just put the bits in and use them. Nothing really special there excuse me okay but you can see how they kind of arrange all the bits here all right so it looks like that all right and yeah these bits have held up really well i've used them for lots of things the smaller bits I actually put them in a different tray for my own personal use um and yeah so for my use, I found a different box worked better because I carry a bunch of other computer tools around. With this box, I don't have room to put really much anything else. So yeah, for my use, this is mainly just for the bits. Um, and also they make this design so it's kind of a little bit easier to take these bits out. You have like room where it wiggles and then you can kind of put it in like that, okay? And then you can tilt it back. So that way it's not just standing straight up like this. Um, and with this, I'm probably going to have to familiarize myself with all the new bits again. Like, some of the stuff, I don't even know what they're for. Like, okay, I see there's actually a pattern here. So this is like a security bit. So sometimes they'll have a little peg that sticks up. And then it would go in there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, you know what a screwdriver is. They have these. These are the ones that they were talking about. These, like twisted ones that I was like looking at I was like I've never seen that before but <laughs> that's interesting anyways yeah so not really much else to show here I guess I'll leave this in my car because it's a nice set with a whole bunch of bits that hopefully will cover like more than 99% of what I need to open up so if I forget to bring my other set I'll always have this one with me hopefully and yeah that's pretty much it Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helped you see if you should get these. Again, the bits, I don't know, whatever material they use to make them, they hold up really well. I know there's other sets that are really cheap. Like um, I've used those in the past and sometimes they'll hold up really long um, depending if you're using them on things that are really tight or anything like that. Um, but I've had a really cheap set that I used before and the bits held up really well. Um, but sometimes the shape of the bit is slightly off and then you end up stripping the screws. So keep that in mind. Um, I found that the bits for these iFixit sets are actually really good and they hold up really well. Um, and I believe they have a lifetime warranty on the bits. So if for some reason the bits do break or get messed up to where you can't use them again, you can contact them and I think they'll just ship you another replacement bit. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't think I can get the whole like thing like this in view of tent. No, I can't. Well, I guess I can, no. Well, anyways, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, bye. Let's drop this. Oh, and one thing I didn't show, not sure if anyone would care, but um, this foam thing is not actually glued into the tray. So if I take this out, I can actually pull this whole foam pad up. And you can see what it looks like inside. It's just this plastic tray here. Okay, this thing's rolling around. This thing sometimes helps uh, keep the thing from rolling around. So it's it's nice because if you set it down like that, it will stay in place. It's not going to like roll too easily. Like it won't roll on its own. If you roll it, it actually rolls pretty well as you can see. But um, yeah, so you can see the tray is just flat out plastic there on the bottom. And you can see what the bottom of this looks like. They actually put this foam pad cut out here to prevent the thing from just sitting on the um, plastic. But there you go. All right, that's pretty much it. Let's get this thing back in. Okay, oh, you can see this thing just falls out. So 
I guess we'll get this in and then put that piece back afterwards. All right, just get everything lined up. Make sure to push the edges back in, just like that, and there we go. All right, and then we'll get this back in, I think. <laughs> Let's see. This thing isn't easy to fit back in there. It's like, maybe I should have put that in first. Okay, there we go. Put that in. Push that in. Now it's all crooked. No. <laughs> Push that in straight. Making like fingernail imprints into it. Okay. And there we go. All right. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, hopefully this video helped you guys decide if this set will be good for you. Um, again, the handles, um, I've had other ones where they've made handles look similar, but uh, this thing, they designed it really well. Like it has a lot of grip. Like I have this, it looks, it looked kind of nice. I put some tape on it and then I put a little lump there for added grip. But again, like this, it has this little piece here. They kind of mimicked the design, but this is actually really slippery. So this one, it's actually like my hand actually grips on it really well. Like see, like I'm twisting it pretty hard. This one, if I hold this here, I could like, I can twist this in my hand pretty easily, even if I'm like gripping it really hard. Okay, this one, I don't even have to grip it that hard. And like, if I try and grip this and twist it, you can see I can't, like I'm really gripping this. So the design, the way they cut this is actually really good. And yeah, okay, again, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, let's drop this again, bye. Sorry about this, I'm back. Um, there's one last thing I forgot to mention. For some reason, the iFixit sets, um, they don't include the same stuff with each one. So um, I showed everything in here already. In the, mm, this is the, what, Manta? So I think the Mako uh, set, it comes with this, which is a bit extender, okay? And this thing is actually pretty nice because depending what you're working on, um, you can actually put the bit in here Okay, you can get this in here and you can actually rotate this and you can work in like weird cramped locations and you can actually spin the screwdriver at this weird angle. So to kind of let you guys or make this easy to see, let me see if I have one. Maybe the flathead screwdriver will be easier to see. Okay, it's hard to get this bit out, but there we go. No, actually these are one of those fat ones. So I guess I have to use an adapter. What is that? This one? Okay, wait, is this how it works? Okay, so use this. I think this, no, wait, what? How can I use this with the four millimeter bit driver? Uh, what? How, where's the four, where's the thing that converts the four to the larger bit size? Um. I thought it would be this, no? Oh, I guess we have to use the four. Um, this is the, these are the four ones, so we have to find the one that fits this, right? Is that how it works? And then the one that fits in here. So where do we have this? None of them fit. Does that mean I can't use the, the larger bits in the, that's not good. I thought there was, didn't it say there was one? Let me look at the box again. Okay, we got the... Oh yeah, they don't have a reverse one. They only have the this one that converts into the four millimeter. Okay, well I guess you have to use the fat handle if you want to use the... Is that how it works? I don't know how this works. Okay, so we got this giant fat handle. And then... We would use the four millimeter one. Or actually, okay, you wouldn't use this. They have a sp special one. So this four millimeter one actually adds the grip to hold the bits in place. Then you can use this. Okay, but anyways, um, you have it comes with this bendy thing. Um, another thing with the cheap sets that don't that iFixit doesn't have, which I wish iFixit did make, is this has a little spring loaded socket here, and it has this where you can put this whole extension rod in here as you can see 
All right, if you're wondering what this extension rod is for, when I work on desktops, sometimes the screws are somewhat far down and it's difficult to get your hand like completely into the area. Like there'll be stuff all around and your hand will get in there. So this extension rod is actually very useful. And a lot of times I'll just throw this in my set, even though I can't adjust the extension, even just having a longer um, thing like this makes it very useful, right? See, so I actually just keep this extension rod from a cheap set that I bought in, in the case here. And then also like same thing with this, like I would just keep that kind of in there. And again, this is from another set from my fix it. So I don't know why they make this ginormous set for everything, but then they leave out stuff like this, like this should come with this set. They should have a extension like this with this set. And yeah. Um, and then another thing they should include but I guess you can buy separately our tweezers. I mean, they should have all of this like in one set like this. See, you can fit it all in there. I don't know why they don't include it, um, but yeah. And then you can just, there you go. So you can have all those extra tools you want in there. You can add extra tweezers, different tweezers in here, but I use like a cheapy set thingy like this. And then I just swapped all the bits out. Um, yeah, but anyways, that's pretty much it, the end of my review. Again, I don't know why they don't include this kind of stuff, um, but as you can see, if you buy these kinds of pieces separate, you can throw them in this box and you can leave them there. Very useful, these kinds of things. Um, I've actually bought several cheap sets in the past, different types, and each one of those come with those kinds of things. I took them out before and put them somewhere. So I don't know what I did with all those extra extensions and whatnot. I probably like threw them in another set somewhere um, but yeah so those those kinds of things do come in handy so yeah keep that in mind sometimes you will need those kinds of things this giant set doesn't come with it doesn't come with like little scrapey pry tools or anything like that I don't think this will fit in the box with it will it can I fit this in there no not quite so I need stuff like like these kinds of tools in here but it doesn't come with it as you can see um, and I don't think you can really store this in here maybe you can it's just gonna be difficult oh there we go it fits in there so you can you can find ways to fit that kind of stuff in there all right and yeah um, I don't know why they don't make a one set that has everything in it that you would need um, but yeah, so there's a there's they sell a set of bits. This is the one. They sell a set of tweezers. Then you can buy tweezers separately. And then I don't know how you would buy these separately. I don't think they sell that kind of stuff. Um, and then one other thing, which sometimes I run into, but it's pretty rare, is the hole. Like sometimes it's like pretty deep down, but the space to um, get the screwdriver in isn't uh, long enough. So even with the, the extension, it won't work because this base is too wide, right? So let's say you have like um, a screw, but the hole is like the size of the screwdriver bit. So if you have a screw that's like the hole is the size of this, so you can only go as far as that goes. Once you reach this piece, you can see like it's like it'll get too big. And if you have this here, there's no way you're going to fit that in there with this bit. So that's another thing. Um, it's pretty rare to run into that kind of situation, but there are a few times where I do run into it and then it ends up like I need to go find a special screwdriver that's specifically that size. Um, it happens more often with Phillips screwdrivers. Um, I was, if you watched um, some of my other videos, I was making a um, 1450 plug adapter and the, the screw was pretty deep in the hole, so I couldn't reach it with like these kinds of bits. Like I had to use an actual screwdriver that's long. Um, sometimes I find ways to get around it, like if the screwdriver bit is long enough, like like let's say this this is thin enough to fit in. Sometimes I can put the screwdriver in and then just have it barely sticking out. And then while it's barely sticking out, I can use this to kind of just twist it, but you won't have like the pressure to push it. You won't be able to push it down into the screw. So sometimes you actually need that extra pressure. Otherwise the screw just skips and pops out of the screw screwdriver or whatever. 
But um, yeah, those are my kinds of some complaints that I have about these sets. Um, they don't include like extra long tips uh, that would be needed for those kinds of situations. Uh, but yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, sorry, I keep coming back and um, saying, oh, I forgot this, I forgot this. But yeah, hopefully this extra information helps some of you guys. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, bye. Let's drop this one more time.